there and welcome to the Artistic Per. For those that don't know me, I am Mel. Today we are going to go over how to paint this orca whale in watercolours. Now let's go, go over our materials before we start. So before we get started on painting this orca, I'm just going to go over our materials. I've got my Wizard Newton watercolour journal here in A4, my Wizard Newton watercolour palette, my two jars of water, and I'll also be using my Kalita Bright brushes and a WG brush. I'll also be using a pencil. This is in a H. And I'll also be using a eraser. So I'm just going to start out this painting by doing a slight sketch of the whale just by using a reference photo. So as you can see, I've just finished the drawing of the orca. I'm now just going to go over it with a eraser so that the pencil lines don't show through the painting. So I'm actually just going to use this new brush that I've just got, which is made for washes. It's by Wizard Union. It's the Copeland series brush and it's the I believe it's 999 number, 16 millimeters. And it's a wash brush used for watercolor washing, which is useful for backgrounds. So we're just gonna grab some water and I'm just gonna go in for a blue. And we're just gonna do the background. Once it's dried. So I'm just going to start doing the lighter areas of the whale and I'm just going to do that by mixing in the grey. So I'm going to do black and a white on my palette just to do a bit of a grey wash for the lighter parts and then I'll go over it with the black for the darker parts. And I'm just going to use my Blitter Bright zero brush. So I'm just going to grab my clean water and start mixing. So now that I've mixed the lighter black grey colour, I'm just going to go in with the walker with the light area. darker parts now. In the reference photo, the light source is coming from the top, so this part's going to be lighter and then the rest of it's going to be darker. So I'm just going to do the black part for now.
So before I move on to the next part, which is painting the white and maybe a bit of blue, I'm going to wait for the black part to dry so that the black doesn't bleed over into my other colours. So we'll be back shortly when it dries. So I'm just going to go in with my Da Vinci brush and I'm going to do the white parts of the whale or go. I'm just going to fix up this eye bit here. So I'm just going to wait for the black and white parts to dry so I could do the top layer and the highlights. We're back soon. So in the reference photo, there are some blue reflections on the whale. So I'm just going to add in the reflections of those layers. I'm just going to see the grey to do the shadows. So just going to do the shadows.
for the eye using the white paint. whale. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and that you have enjoyed painting along with me. Please do hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and please do share with your fellow artist friends as they would really help me out. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you are notified of all of my videos. I do videos every single week. Every single week. Please let me know down in the comments what you are currently working on with your watercolours and if you do do this tutorial please leave a link down below and show me your artwork so I can go check it out myself. Bye bye now, I'll see you next time.